You wait out here, kid, okay? See a thing up there, Wayne, old buddy. It's okay, Wayne. I've seen a few lights in the sky myself. You stay out here. seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampled out the vin... Faithful lightning of his terrible swift. <laughs> 
dinosaurs. Dog, fight whatever it is or shut up. Jennifer, I might have sent you one of these. Oh, yeah. Are these all of them? Oh, there'll be another series this afternoon. Okay, thanks. But, Jen, um, Jennifer, how about dinner tonight? Hmm? Dinner tonight? No, I'm gonna be at the Skycon thing for hours. Come on, Jennifer. How about tomorrow night? Jennifer, come on. It's always tomorrow night. I mean, you know, Roger, it's been three come weeks. Roger, I've got a lot of work to Excuse do. Excuse me. Jennifer, you always have a lot of work to do. You're no jeopardy of losing your job. Your That's father not is not gonna fire his daughter. interesting here. I mean, what could be that interesting? Huh? Very interesting. Yes. Yes, I can see what you mean. Then give me the go-ahead, Daddy. Jennifer, you've only been here for a year. You really need some time to... You were the one that told me to follow every hunch, strive for the unattainable. Should I say that? Well, we are supposed to be the first father-daughter team in space, remember? Some team with a part-time cripple on it. Oh, Daddy. I think we'd better have Dr. Mortor take a good look at your findings. You're going to be proud of me. Back terrific pictures for two years. But when I was going over some of them several weeks ago, I noticed a problem. And just what should we be looking for? Well, this photograph, taken a month ago, is clean. But this next one, taken three weeks ago, has this obvious problem in a small town near Alamogordo, New Mexico. What do you feel that indicates, Jennifer? It could be a sign of a primary system malfunction. It's almost as if the light rays are being accelerated in this region. You mean, uh, not unlike a black hole? No, that's not what I mean. Are you suggesting there's a black hole in the middle of New Mexico? 
No, I'm just uh, making a suggestion of an analogous situation. Your suggestion has been noted. What do you think, Larry? Say, why don't we send somebody out there with some hardware to check and see? Jennifer, would you be willing to see this through? You know, that's that's a, a marvelous idea. Uh, except that Jennifer hasn't had the experience in the field, and, uh, well, perhaps I can go down there and assist her. The way people get experience in the field is to be in the field. Jennifer can handle it, thank you. your job anytime he wants to. You know that. We can help you out. You know what you and that thing got in common? You're both too damn loud. Jesus! Wayne! What'd you do that for? Get your hands on the top of the car, kid. I had to pay 700 bucks for that! What's my daddy gonna say? I'm gonna tell him who did this. Hey, what's the trouble here? I don't know, Buck. This guy's gone crazy. Start shooting up the place. Yeah, look what he did in my tape deck. What are you gonna do about this, Buck? Okay, okay, we're all friends here. Come on now, no sense in getting all heated up over a little misunderstanding. Getting all riled up. Tell you what, I'll talk to your daddy about this little fracas. Explain to. Him. Also, try and talk him to getting your new cassette player for your car. Real nice. Yeah, it better be. I could use a cold one. How about you?
Think if you ignore it something long enough, it'll go away? I'll take care of this, since you go along. See, if I ignore something long enough, Wayne will make it go away. Get you out of here. Unless you mean it. How long you been driving? Oh, 14 hours. What you, you dinged up was the car. I didn't fall asleep at the wheel. A dog or something jumped on the hood. Well, you bumped into some poor old mutt and knocked him up on the hood of the car? He jumped on the hood and tried to claw through the windshield. Well, I don't see any scratches or nothing. If there was a dog around here, it's long gone. Look, Sheriff. Can we continue this in the morning? I'm gonna be here about a week. I'm a deputy marshal. Where you stand? Point me to the nearest motel. I'll point you to the only motel. It's about uh, two, three hundred yards down there on the left. You come by my office in the morning. I'll straighten all this out then. It'll look a lot better. Oh, Deputy, thanks for your country hospitality. Yeah. brings them a bacon and eggs, and then she leaves. And I look down, I see only two strips of bacon on the plate. So I check the menu, and it says three strips. So I call her back. 
And now she accuses me of eating one of those strips. So I, I swear my honor as a law enforcement officer, you know. Anyway, I swear my honor that I didn't eat the bacon. And then we investigate, and guess what? There's two strips of bacon stuffed together just like one. How do you like that? Morning. Am I disturbing anything? No, not a thing. You don't mind if I interrupt? Not at all. What do they think they're looking at? Uh, you're just a little unusual for a little creep. Not that I'm complaining. I'm not here to seek your approval, Deputy. Uh, call me Wayne. Wayne. Just what is this institute you work for? It's a publicly funded private agency. Sends up satellites, that sort of thing. Very complicated. Well, I wouldn't understand that. Huh? Probably not. You might be surprised. I still got to know what you're doing in Little Creek. Research. Research? Is that a secret or something? No, but there is something I should check out with you. What's that? I've got some equipment I'd like to set up around here, and I don't want to get arrested for trespassing. Well, is there any kind of danger to kids or livestock? None at all. It's just some meter units, a master reader and some remote stations. Nobody will probably notice them. Ready? Here it comes. Hello? 
Hello, Jennifer. What do we have here? It's a normal shot of a metering unit. Are we getting a proper transmission? Yes, that's the problem. It came out that way. I take it you see a relationship between this and the fogging of the satellite photos. It's more than that. I'd like you to try enhancement of this one. What are we looking for? Barely visible markings on the rocky side next to the unit. I marked where circular patterns of some sort of crystal are prominent. It doesn't seem random. I'm hoping that computer enhancement will pry out additional details. All right, we'll do our best. Fine. I'll talk to you later. Joseph, do you see what your daughter's after here? Not exactly. But she may be onto something. She always had good instincts. I'm certain she'll produce Joe. I'm not concerned about it. Neither am I. can't be possible. Oh, the hell? Excuse me, Dr. Kramer. Your daughter is on line three again. Yes, Jennifer. Hello, Daddy. Remember those wonderful lights I saw in the sky when I was a little girl? Yes, of course. Well, was that somewhere in New Mexico? I believe it was, yes. Why? I think I'm back here now in the same town in Little Creek, New Mexico. Jennifer, it's certainly possible, but a lot of small towns look alike. Anyhow, I'm sure it's just coincidence. No. No, I'm positive it's the same town. I'm positive of it. Now, Jennifer, take it easy. I'm sure you're right, but you certainly don't think this has any real significance. No. No, maybe you're right. Okay, then. We'll talk to you tomorrow, dear. Goodbye. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Imagine that. Hey, sweet jeans. How about a couple of breakfast rolls and a six pack to go? Sure thing, huh? Hey, uh, Wayne. I hear you had some nasty business up at Walt Casper's place. Uh, just a couple of head of cattle have checked out for their time. Well, that ain't what I heard. I heard we got a cattle mutilation right here in Little Creek. There's talk that you can't handle it. I've been handling you for years, haven't I? <laughs> well, hello. Good morning. How you doing? Did you run up on any old stray dogs lately? You know, dogs are out of season this time of year. How'd you know? You mean you really were attacked by another dog? And you didn't report it? To get laughed at again? No, thanks. Well, did he jump up on the hood of your car this time? No, he didn't. There's your beer, Wayne. Thank you. You know, I did some checking around yesterday. It's a hell of an outfit you up on the instance. <laughs> 
of me. Just checking, that's all. Would you like a list of personal references? I'm not out to destroy this little town of yours. Yeah, well, there's a couple thousand people in this little town that depend on me to investigate anything that might be out of the ordinary. I see. You think I'm out of the ordinary? Yes, ma'am. Out of the ordinary. I'm not used to lady scientists running through the streets of my little town. There's just one thing I can't figure out. What's that? Is it this town that seems like it's from another world? Or is it just you? You know, I think about that almost every day. Jennifer? The motel said I might find you here. Daddy, what are you doing here? Well, I came to see how my daughter is doing with her field research. After your phone call yesterday, frankly, I was concerned. So, the jet down McGordo, hired a car, and here I am. Oh, this is Deputy Wayne Thompson. My father, Dr. Joseph Kramer. Hello, Deputy sir. Thompson. Hey, Wayne, you better get that beer and those rolls out to Buck before he calls the other sweet bees call. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was nice to meet you, sir. I'll be seeing you again. Seems like a nice young man. Nothing earth-shattering. Probably something loose. Just check the circuitry inside. What's that? Looks like a trail of blood. Hey, Buck, look who's here. Homer takes some shots around the other side. Howdy. Right. So that's what you were talking about yesterday. Yeah, same thing, different cattle. It's the fourth one we found today. Oh, this is my father, Dr. Joseph Kramer. Oh, hi. My name is Marshal Niles Buchanan, but everyone calls me Buck. Marshal. Pleasure. Daddy. Come take a look at this. Not a pretty sight, no sir. Not a pretty sight at all. Somebody really did a job on it, didn't they? I've been looking into cattle mutilations on my own for some time. Notice the incisions. The precise surgical cuts. Very interesting. What I want to know is who's making these cuts. Are the others like this? Well, yeah, the ears and Hoof sliced off, clean as a whistle. Some of the missing lips and tongues, and even their, uh... well, it, it, it gets pretty grim, pretty grim. What's freaking everybody out is that none of the other animals will even go near it. Hell, there's not even any flies or ants on it. That's why I think it's one of those, you know, those devil cults. They can do stuff like this. You have many of those cults around here? Oh, well, no. Well, that's one of the theories, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not sure. Damn, none of these are coming out. Can I see one of those, please? Sure. Jennifer, take a look at this. This fog dairy is similar to the ones I took. Now you look here, Wayne. I don't give a damn about your authority. I got three worthless carcasses on my hands. And I'm not the only one. Yeah, Daddy, I told him he was serious. He didn't even give a damn. We've covered this whole creek and all around here. There's nothing to find. Can't find a thing. Well, who the hell's fault is that? Are you saying we're helpless about this thing? You expect me to stand here and do nothing? You know, Wayne, if you can't handle this, we can. Well, anyone under your authority breaks law, I'll come after you. You might be able to push my boy around, but not me. I won't be threatened on my land. I'm not threatening you. I'm just telling you how it is. So what the hell are they doing, anyway? Well, they're all right. I know them. What are they up to? What do they want? Well, I don't like strangers sticking their damn noses around here. You understand? Well, there's nothing to get sore about. I told you I know them. This lady's a scientist in the SSR Institute on the West Coast, and this is her father, Dr. Kramer. He runs it. You here to help us on these cattle mutilations? No, that's not our field. 
What do you think's cutting up our steers? I told you that's not our field. But I have heard of cattle mutilations, and it's got to be some kind of predator. Predator? You see? Some damn scientists don't know the, the difference between a cow and a steer telling us our business. These mutes were reported by cattlemen, lady. People who live and work around cows all their life. People who learned it from their father and their fathers before them. Don't you think I've seen every damn predator to mark there is? Don't you think I've seen every goddamn thing on earth that could happen to a cow? No, my friend, you haven't seen everything that can happen to a cow. Scientifically, that would be impossible now, wouldn't it? What the hell are you doing here, anyway? Actually, I'm just visiting my daughter. But I'm very interested in the cattle mutilation and all it implies. Never had the opportunity to see one before. First hand, I, I thank you for that. Thanking me for having cattle mutilated. Oh, you dumb son of a bitch. Come on, son, we're getting out of here. Walter found four more over at my place this morning. Jesus Christ. Sorry about that. You think there's anything you can give us a hand with on this cattle mutilation thing? No, not really. Jennifer was certainly correct. It's not our field of study. However, I am very interested. I'll send you all the information I can find. I appreciate that. I think maybe you better all find your way back to town now. I'd say you were right. Now, Thompson, you take very good care of my little girl. Dr. Kramer, I'd like to tell you about one of my theories. That farmer had no right talking to you that way. Well, Walt, he's all right. He's lost several thousand dollars of cattle a day. He's a little hot. Listen, do me a favor. Get going back to town. I'll call you later, okay? spend 2,000 bucks a week to go horseback riding with a bunch of shoe salesmen. Alan, you are a shoe salesman. Come on. Whoop. Look at that. Cattle. Imagine how it must have been with the trail herds. Fighting nature. Take the hope. Sorry, that's a sound that uh, cows make. Alan, I wouldn't go near those cows. It's all right. Uh, cows are, uh, they eat grass. They're not uh, carnivorous. Eat it all. Excuse me. Go on about your business. I was just, uh... We, we were... Oh, I'm... Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, you go on about your business. Uh, I mean, uh... We're over the hill here with the dude ranch. Look, you go on about your business. I'm just with my wife and we're just... <laughs> wait a minute, mister. Wait, wait what's the matter? Wait. Hold it a second now. Come on. What's... Hey,
You know, Walt had no call going off the deep end like that. I mean, we're doing everything we can, are we, Wayne? Huh? They ought to make these holes bigger in these cans. I mean, how are you going to dunk your donut in such a small opening like this? Not a lot of guys have my technique. They got their problems, I'll tell you. <laughs> It's a mute, but this time it ain't cattle, it's humans. There's human mutilations now. We're gonna get into this. We're gonna find out who or what's doing it. If it's Satanists or even aliens. We're gonna find out. We're gonna get to the bottom of this once and for all. I'll tell you what we are gonna do is we're gonna call in the county boys. What, what are you talking about? This is our case. We're gonna solve it. Now, we're a couple of Yahoo cops from a jerkwater town. We're not about to have the means to investigate something like this. Come on, Wayne, I want to prove my theory. Another thing, Niles, I don't think we ought to be shooting our mouth off about this in town. Sure. Well, I won't tell a soul. Okay, I won't, I won't say a word. And don't call me Niles. <laughs> here. This yours? Matter of fact, it is. We found this little, uh, death machine, pool of blood. You're crazy. Now, we might not be smart enough to know what it is, but we know it's killing our cattle. It's just a monitoring device. It's not hurting your oh, cattle. Oh, yeah. It's got an antenna on it, and it sure the hell ain't a TV set. It monitors geothermal, magnetic, and radioactive materials. Is that enough explanation for you? What do you think, cow killer? I think you must be a whole lot dumber than you look! Get her! Don't let get away! Hurry! Catch her! Go. Okay, come on. I'm going the other side, damn it. I'm going the other side. Go in the back. Now with a solder and I. You know why? Because I wanted to know how my daddy's cattle felt when it was branded. It wasn't all that bad. But I'm telling you, when I see my daddy's cattle laying up there, all cut up, and their eyes cut out, and the mutilated miss me what a scream! Come on, come on. 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 Come on.
Uh, Tell her you're sorry. On, Tell her you're oh, sorry, you goddamn piece of gutter trash. Please, oh, God. <laughs> hey. Tell her you're sorry. Oh, son. Now, oh, settle down. I didn't raise no son to attack women. No matter what they done. What my boy done to you is wrong, man. So is what you've been doing to my cattle. Anybody come around my ranch now on? There's gonna be hell to pay. You and Niall's gonna be hauling away the bodies. Walt, don't go off half cock. You're gonna get yourself into trouble, I'm telling you. You look like hell. You never look better in your life. You know, all this mutilation's got everyone all worked up, trying to find an easy way. If this town knew all that was going on, they'd really come apart, I'll tell you. Some of them things we've seen on the road, why? Why well, well, don't you go see if you can't patch things up? We'll make sure she gets back to the motel, get her some food, and try and make sure she's been causing more trouble. I didn't cause any trouble. Those stupid cowboys started it. Whatever's doing the mutilation, it started it. Clark's Voices from the Sky, Proceedings from the First International UFO Congress, The Friendly Stars. Well, Wayne, I have to admit, I'm surprised. Well, you don't think a Yahoo ought to have an interest in the wonders of the universe? Didn't mean it that way. Yeah, yeah, you did. No matter. It really doesn't, you know. I've, uh, interested in that stuff since I was a little kid. How about you? I think I would like that beer now. It's in the refrigerator. Some host. What do you want, light or real? Light. Real. Oh, I don't know. Anything. You having trouble finding something uh, you like? Something I know. I've never really followed country western okay. music. Well, let me play DJ. Have you ever been out honky tonk dancing? I don't know how. No, I never have. Well, I did it once or twice. Come on. <laughs> Having fun. I don't understand what's going on. The most irrational thing that ever happened in my life happened to me in this town. It doesn't make sense. I'm supposed to be a scientist. I'm supposed to deal with facts. You saying you've been here before? When I was a little girl. When I was little, I saw the strangest, most beautiful lights in the sky. But no one would believe me. They wouldn't believe me either. It was you. I saw him too.
Bessie's all over your land. Damn her. You look around over there, Darren. Okay, boss. Her car's parked next to her room, but she's not there. Do you know where she might be? Well, I'm sorry, but I really couldn't say. Her bed's not been slept in. I don't know where she is. All right. It's very important that I speak to her. Have her call her father as soon as she comes in. Right. Thank you very much. Have Edwards got me everything we've got on aerial phenomena in New Mexico? Yes, sir. You have the floating graphics? Francis has them now, sir. Okay, Q circuits four and nine. Hold on to your pants, everybody. Looks like that flaw that showed up in those satellite photos has led Jennifer right to class one evidence of alien contact. That rock formation that she photographed has one hell of a crystal structure. All those mineral streaks are a manipulated metamorphic derivative of the rhyolite host. The circular patterns are precise schematic diagrams of our solar system. I assumed those points around it were known star clusters, but the position seemed way off. Here's the payoff. The positions aren't wrong if you're looking at Earth's solar system from the opposite side of the galaxy. It's as though someone left us a calling card. Why uh, hasn't anybody noticed it before? The message must have had a time function or some other trigger mechanism built into it. In the meantime, I'm trying to read the damn thing. Any ideas, Larry? We'll need the distances and quadrant points for the area of view. Then we'll work out an ephemeris time breakdown. I want to know when these stars were in this configuration. And if they haven't ever formed this pattern, find out when they will. We'll need this star pattern dated. What about security? I'll uh, take care of that. Oh, Dr. Parkfield, there's one more thing. Get in touch with the airport. I want a plane equipped and ready in one hour. We're going to New Mexico.
Well, I'll be a son of a bitch. What? Come on. It's another mutilated steer. I tell you, these cattle mutilations is everyone all worked up and bent out of shape. I mean, Walt and Darren probably off somewhere sleeping one off, and uh, that kid of his, thinking of worse, taking a pot shot at you and Jennifer here. Would you excuse us for a second? Sure. Well, the sheriff's department, they identified that body. A dude from Chicago, his wife's still missing. No telling what happened to her. And those federal boys you called in stopped by last night. Talk about, I ain't call no feds. Well, somebody sure as hell did. Two guys come over, plenty of identification. They were asking a lot of questions about her. In fact, the whole town's talking about her. Mrs. Keaton over at the motel says she wasn't in all last night. Ain't nobody's damn business where a lady spends the night. Well, where else would she be? Wow. Sure complicated. No, it doesn't, Niles. All it does is prove that she's not the cause of any of this. Well, you say so, but let me tell you something. Those federal boys ask a lot of questions about you, too. Not that I'd pay that any mind, but, well. Uh, I need to check one of my metering units. Think there's any way Niles could do it for you? No. Oh, I'd be very happy to help you out. You see, I'm a bit of a science nut myself. Uh, you just tell me what to do, I'll do it. The way things are going, I hate to let you out of my sight. Okay, you can pick it up and bring it back. Got it! What do you know about federal agents? Nothing. Where'd you place this device? Near that old shack up in the mountains. Which shack? Trucks out there. Hmm. Anybody here?
anybody here? This was one of my theories right from the start. I know what you're doing. You're taking bits and pieces of cattle, our most important food supply, and sending them to your bosses for monitoring. Ain't that right? Well, ain't it? Oh, no. That ain't a cattle part. That there's a hand, Eddie Gaspers. I'm Marshal Oz Buchanan, and you're under arrest. Jennifer. Still no luck, sir, but they'll keep trying. What's our transportation from Almogordo? There'll be a helicopter available as soon as we touch down. Sir, I think we've dated the star pattern from the rock your daughter photographed. God, it's today. Well, sir, it's pretty much as you predicted. It appears that the deputy and the scientists have come across certain information, sir. Uh, information that could be misinterpreted by the media. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I understand. Probably none of my business where you've been, but your father's been trying to get in touch with you real bad. When did he call? Well, he started calling this morning, but I told him you hadn't been in all Thanks. night. Thanks. Can you place a call for me now, please? Great. What am I supposed to tell my father? That my equipment's being systematically destroyed by UFOs? Yeah. I tried to scare you away. I tried to turn the others against you. I tried to keep things the way they've been. But you wouldn't go. What do you want from us? I want to be left alone.
the gun, these guys mean business. Hands on your head! Hands on top of your head! Now! They've ruined my place! Who's gonna pay for all this? <laughs> ah! just what I was supposed to. They wanted to keep track of us, and they needed me. It ain't fair. But now that she's here, you won't be needing me no more. What'll happen to me? I have an agent that day many years ago. That day both of us were visited. I can't let you steal that from me. <gasps> Don't you understand? It's you they've been waiting for all these years. You were chosen long ago. Chosen? But you ain't so special. I can take care of you just like the others. You're human. 
just like me. But I can't let him have you. I tried to make you go away, but you wouldn't go. I was a fool not to kill you right off. <laughs> Him too. Jennifer? Jennifer? I'm sure of that. You can't get away from it. Nobody can. Nobody can stop what's meant to be. Not me. Not you. And now my job is over. Come on. 
No, Wayne. Come on, let's go. It's time. Come on. Come on. <laughs> 